Can you hear that music? You know what time it is. YouTube! Welcome to the channel. And if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. We will be getting into Harry Potter, Hogwarts Legacy. Now, I know it doesn't say Harry Potter on it, but it's a Harry Potter game, right? It's a Harry Potter game. I'm late to the party. Um, it is my first playthrough, but I've been grinding, man. I've been working, you know? So now that I have time to actually play the game, we're gonna play it, we're gonna get into it and experience it for ourselves. Now, I'll put my hands up. I'm not the biggest Harry Potter fan. I know, I know, don't judge me. Um, but my girlfriend has made me watch countless Harry Potter movies during the winter break. It's always in the winter break for some reason. Um, and I've grown a love for them anyway. I've, I've grown fond of them. Um, and I can see where the hype is. I can see where the hype comes from and everything. I'm excited to get stuck into this one, man. Yeah, without further ado, sit back, relax. And let's go. Okay, so we're gonna create our character. What does he look like? Is that the guy we've got now? I like the high top. I'm trying to find someone with like big nostrils because you know my, my nose is it's pretty on the on the wide side, you know, so I'm trying to get somebody that resembles me. Yeah, this guy might do though. Can we change the features? Maybe can a little bit. That definitely doesn't look like me. Definitely doesn't look like me. All of these guys look like models or something. Like they could definitely do some some run walks or catwalks or whatever you call it. Okay, we see we, we can see a we can see a black man's nose right here. That could be me. Yeah, that could be me right there. That could be me right there, okay. I think the skin tone's about the same as well. Let's see what the hair's saying. The hair is decent. I kind of got like a skin fade like that as well. So we can just rock with that, leave it like that. Do a little slit there. Cause I have actually got a slit on my eyebrow. You can't see it now cause I'm wearing a cap, but I have got a slit on my eyebrow, so. Um, and it's not one of those uh, young boy slits, you know. Um, I was born with it. And no, Voldemort, <laughs> Voldemort didn't attack me, no. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna rock with us anyway with a the slit there. And his eyebrows look all right. I don't to mess with his eyebrows. What's the voice sound like? Let's see. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. That oh, was quite no. something. Hell no. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds all right. That sounds all right. It's a bit deeper, so it sounds a bit more like myself. We're going, let's play on normal. A demanding gameplay challenge. Let's play on normal. Okay, the name, fuck. What name are we going to use? You must name your character to proceed. Gonna name him Chuma. Chuma what? Chuma. Chuma Chum. Chuma Chum. What a fucking name, right? Chuma Chum. <laughs> Chuma Chum. And I am a wizard, right? Which is the women, obviously, and wizard are the men, right? I'm not. Like I said, I'm not a Harry Potter guy, yeah? I'm not into that, all that witch and wizardry stuff, but um, yeah, let's go, let's go. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Oh, 
<laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Young Chargy. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. What's he looking at? I see the Union Jack flag in the background. Yo, is that a bug? Where's the horse at? Is that a bug or is that as meant to be? Like, there's not meant to be a horse there. What kind of jojo is this, yo? Is there meant to be a horse or something, or a dragon or something flying? Or is it meant to be invisible? <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your travelling companion? A new student. New? Chuma yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Not a chosen one. Merlin's beard. How did you... Wait. We do... Oh shit. Hang on. Well, he's dead. Oh, there's the horses.
Was he trying to go after the key? Are you all right? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Press down to heal, okay. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay <clears throat> close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Okay, the game's looking crisp so far. Let me just check the settings quickly. Um, okay, image calibration. Yep, it's the same. Okay. All right, let's proceed. I am playing on Fidelity with ray, ray tracing. How far did that port key take wow. us? Farther from London than the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins. The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Okay. Oh, we can move now. So this is um, Eliza Fick, this Where guy here. A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Wow, this game looks stunning, though. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. So go through here. I wish we had an option though, to play at like 60 frames so, with ray tracing. That would be that would be good. Lost magic. Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. Okay, is so... That ice? That? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that one work you were practicing. Focus on the center. So tap R2 to perform basic cards. Okay. Oh, okay. Snappy. Excellent. Okay, so use your camera to select an active target. Some players prefer to select targets and move. Okay. Oh, shit. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Wait, can we kill, shoot these pots? I said kill these pots. Oh, we can shoot the pots. Okay. You don't get nothing from that, though, do you? Your one is improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. 
Yo, he whipping that one though. Shit. What's up here? Oh, we can't go up there. Okay. Ah, up there. Oh, we can. Didn't yeah, I just try and jump up there? You know what they say? If your if the NPC goes one way, you have to go the opposite way. There's always something here. I guess it's nothing. Oh no, there's something. Okay, anything down here? Nope. All right. We're close now. It's just ahead. Damn, this key took them far Steady out. Steady yourself. That's amazing. Almost there. I'm sure after this game, I'm going to be a Harry Potter fanatic. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Whip it, whip it. Oh, as you go forward, okay. The minimap shows your surrounding with you in the middle. This is your current objective, okay. Professor. It's a mural of some kind. Mm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Okay. So explore the ruins. Professor Fig and I have traveled via port key to a remote cliffside in the Scottish Highlands. We need to explore the mysterious ruins that we suspect the port key has meant was meant to lead us to. Okay. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. Right. Go around this way, right? Yeah. Enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig. Ooh. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Yo, Chuma Chuma is a special one for real. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Did we time travel? Hello? Goblin banker. It's like the scene of when there was at the bank, right? In the Harry Potter <clears> movie.
Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. The key? Mm hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. After you. And keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> no seatbelts? How many volts are there? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to this vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby, the vault you see now in the new east. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power or both could have arranged for such a service. I would be sick if I was in this. It's a security measure. Experience the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? Wow. These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How do you go on? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. He resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. I'm wondering, is there like a roller coaster like this in Chesington or Alton Towers or something? They must be. I haven't been to a theme park in years. Vault number. Vault 12. <clears throat> Momentous day. <laughs> On your way. Oh, he don't like him. Chima Chima don't like him. So that goblin's up to no good then. He's he's uh he's an evil one, right? Here we are. When was the last time this fort was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Thank you for your help. Hurry into the boat. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, <clears throat> I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Good luck. <sighs> Professor, what? that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm, Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, That's a revealing Revelio. charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Okay. 
Just gotta follow it around. What happens if that red thing catches up to me? I guess if it catches up to me, I'm not gonna get the, the cast, the spell. Rebellion. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Okay, let's try again. Revelio. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean to earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I they're, do. In the, they're in the trenches now. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Uh, we're staying close to Mr. Fig. We can still, we got a one though still, right? We can still fuck shit up with our one. Alright, let's stay close, shit. It's, it's dark in here. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Interactive methods. Into Revelio. Or just stand there. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. Yeah, that's exactly what we saw. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Okay, let's get our Lumos then. A Luminous. Okay, so now we've got the torch. Um, you've acquired a wand lighting charm, Lumos, which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. Okay. So hold R2 and tap triangle to cast Extinguish Lumos or Extinguish Lumos, okay. Lumos, well done. Oh, okay. Now the reflection's turning towards me. It does follow the light. Oh, we're gonna have to fight them. Yeah. This is like demon souls or something. Look out! Oh shit. Protego. So triangle is to block, maybe. Let's, let's get the controls. Okay, circles to roly poly. Let's fuck them up, bro. Okay, okay, okay. Oh shit. Oh, okay. Triangle is to do the show. Bet. Oh, these motherfuckers are quick. Okay, review your objective to reveal the way forward. Confrego? My man is just got, he's going hammer over there. Oh, we got a counter. 
Oh yeah, we blocked that. Oh, we touched that. You say stupid though. Oh, my girl's gonna love this. She's gonna have fun with this guy. I like the combat, the combat is snappy. Oh, we fucked him up. We got all of them. Oh, I'm close, I'm close. Yeah, the combat feels nice. Professor, it feels real snappy. Professor Fig. Let's do the Lumos. Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? Yeah, where the fuck are we meant to go? What's happening? Oh, these Wisps lights of maybe? magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Oh, what's that? Get some monies, some coins. All right, where are we at now? Ah, oh, that's where they're leading me. Oh, we're gonna have to fight them again. Okay, so Lumos. get the torch out. And Revelio. Revelio. I almost said Ravioli. We need Lumos. a torch again. Alright, so we've got one. We've got two. Is that it? No, that's three, right? One more. Okay. align these statues with their reflections. Wait, why is he back down? They reset. What the fuck? Okay, okay. So follow the line. Maybe we stand here, maybe? No choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Oh, so we fighting all of them by ourselves now. Oh shit, let's go. Oh fuck. Got to block. Put the triangle, right? There we go. Stupid though. Oh yeah, we got that. We got that counter. What is he saying when he counters them? Oh, Chuma Chum is on business. Okay, whole triangle during protege to stand enemies. Okay. Oh yeah, we got that. I need to know what he's saying because it sounds like he's saying stupid though. Superfly. Superfly? Stupify. What the hell is Superfly? I'm gonna start saying that shit for real. Oh, we got that. Oh, yeah, he's going ham. Chew Machine's going ham. Let's go, Chew. Oh, yeah, the combat is nice. I'm liking the combat. I'm liking the combat. Lumos. Lumos, Stupefy, Revelio. Oh, we can sprint now. What else are they? What else? See that portal was red. You see the red, the red the mist around it. So we definitely came from a dark place. I'm talking like I, I'm acting like I know what I'm talking about, and I don't have a Barney's. above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder.
Follow my lead. Is that Dumbledore? See, I know, I know a little, a little something about Harry Potter, you know. Just a little something, anyway. All is in place. The portkey is well hidden. Perhaps oh, maybe too it's well. Not. I thought it was Dumbledore. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. Oh wow. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I uh -oh. don't know. That's the bad but ones, sir, right? you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. Come on, you know he's evil. <laughs> His eyes are red. Like, Sir, come on. they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. Now... Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Run, Professor. <laughs> Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? It can't be. 
It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Uh oh, here we go. What an intro. It's a great way to start the game, man. Great way to start the game. Impressed so far. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? So this is where they sort them into their classes, Phineas, right? Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Hogwarts at its finest with the floating candles. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Yo, those children are eating good, though. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Um, I can't wait to start classes. I can't wait to explore. I'm an explorer. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder. Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of. Hmm. What is it? Daring, curiosity, loyalty, ambition. Hmm, which one? Loyalty or, amb or ambition? I say loyalty. Loyalty is my thing. A sense of loyalty? I believe myself to be a true friend. I know I value that trait in others. 
Facts, mm. we do. You do not give up easily, do you? You are undaunted by challenges that lie ahead. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Perhaps you belong in Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. So the sorting hat will take your choice into account when sorting you into your house. Hufflepuff house, known for patience, loyalty, and hard work. That describes me in a nutshell. So uh, yeah, let's let's go with that house. Maybe the patient part. Maybe not so Better much. But like everything else, yeah. Yeah, they eating good. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. <laughs> Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honour to show you to your common room. Right this way. Ah, let's head there. What's the bed looking like? Hopefully he's comfy, you know, get some good sleep, some good rest. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of work, but I'm sure that's never stopped you before. It hasn't, Professor. <laughs> now, here we are at the entrance to the Hufflepuff common room. This is the entrance. Indeed. I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself, as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. Most unpleasant. You must tap the barrel, <laughs> two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. Helga Hufflepuff. Well done. Now go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Okay, so we're in the Hufflepuff house. So everybody in the Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff house is like loyal, right? Loyal, patient, and uh, hardworking. I wanted to put glasses on my on my character because obviously I got glasses Looks in like real life. Looks like everyone's gone. Um, I want to see Let's if I can change it. I'm not sure if we can, but what is this? <laughs> is he really drinking tea? He's a real British man, isn't it? Drink a little, eat a little apple as well. Yeah, this game is so British. Ah, right, find your common room. Eat a peach. Ah, right, so this is squad. I suppose one could smuggle a pet into the door. What is that? One was willing to use a dissolution with child. I suppose some introductions are in order. Okay, let's talk to some of these people then. Wow, look at that. 
This is just watering the plants by itself. That's dope. All right, let's go. Thank you for not biting me. Oh, hello. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know who she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself, especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. Um, I'm not worried. I do have a lot to catch up on. Yeah, we ain't I'm worried. I'm really not worried. I'm sure I'll be fine. Nevertheless, it is rather unusual. You must feel terribly out of place. Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. Uh, okay, so you think you should have been a Ravenclaw. What is do a Ravenclaw? you really think you should have been in Ravenclaw? Well, my brothers were. They both work in ministry now. I suppose you could say that wit runs in the family. My aunt was a Gryffindor, though, and I've always had plenty in common with her. Determination, valor, daring. The old sorting hat was spoiled for choice with me. Okay. It was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. Adieu. Uh, who else can we talk to? Let's, let's get an apple before. Because Chuma, Chuma hungry. Oh, Chuma is very so hungry. Oh. oh shit, I didn't mean to break that. Can we fix it with the magic? Maybe not. All right, let's oh, start. Uncle, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? Um, yeah, listen. That one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Okay, let's, let's inquire about the uncle. Are you sure everything is all right with your uncle? Oh, yes. He travels for work, always busy. I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. Thank All you, right. Adelaide. True, true say. You. Of course. And good luck. True say she don't know me like that, so she's not going to open up like that. You get me? But once we get more acquainted with everybody, it's all right. let's go and speak to the last person. You don't need to be frightened, little cat. Uh, I can't quite reach. Uh, come on. You went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way, all right? I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. He sounds like Urkel, but he might have a cold or something, maybe. Shame, I think magical beasts are incredible. I tend to agree with your mother. Um, let's go with the first option. I'm sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowtruckles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. <laughs> anyway, I'd better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Okay, let's, let's just inquire. We've asked everybody questions, right? So, Have you ever had a pet, Arthur? No. 
My mother's a muggle, and as soon as the puff scheme that my dad brought home stuck its tongue up her nose, it went right back to the shop. <laughs> right. Nice meeting you, Arthur, and good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. Is the right. new Hufflepuff out of bed yet? Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the common room. Oh. That's his eye, that's his eye. We are on our way there, let's go. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, We've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning, so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Oh, so Professor Weasley, she's like the plug, right? She's got all the answers. She knows everything what's going on in uh, Hogwarts. This way. So we need to pay attention to what she's saying anyway, so we can... The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic. You can level and up. And educate yourself about wizarding lore. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be able to. Is that picture moving? Do keep up. I swear I just saw the picture moving. Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, Mrs. Weasley, we are behind you. Let's take an apple. Simply cast Revelio on it and. Revelio. Oh, okay. So, House Elf Recipe Book. Rumored to contain some of the Helga Hufflepuff's original creations. This book holds a collection of Hogwarts students' favorites recipe over the centuries. Oh, okay. So, can we cook that? You've just unlocked a field guide challenge. You can progress towards completing challenges appear here. Okay. So, field guide challenges are oh, anyway. So, acquire experience points. Okay, okay. This is your wizarding level XP and from challenges increase your level and power. Okay, so bam. All right, so we got to just level up then pretty much, innit? it? So Keep nice. your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Then we'll go here. Can we put on some glasses or something? Oh, we've got glasses. Okay, we're going to wear some glasses. All right, we, I found some glasses, so we put some glasses on. Ah, good timing. Perfect. 
perfect opportunity to show you how to use flue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your Friends field stuff, guide please. contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Oh, wow. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Shout out to King's Cross if you know King's Cross Station. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Okay. <clears throat> We're definitely going to ask the plug some questions. We've got to ask some questions. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Um, what's Hogsmeade? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. I'm assuming the butterbeer is non-alcoholic, right? Thank you, Professor Weasley. <clears throat> a lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm afraid there isn't. Should we tell her the truth or should we just lie to her? She's been not. Uh, uh, yeah, go on. Let's tell her the truth. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and uh, I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil. Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you and invaluable to me as i'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress yes professor come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today and i'll explain more about those assignments i mentioned and we'll see if we can't get you to hogsmeade for those supplies okay it's good to see you professor and you i was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about 
exploring ruins. Oh shit, did he hear us? Fuck. Um, it was nothing, sir. I hope I didn't say too much. Man, we real, we loyal, right? We picked the loyalty um, badge, so let's go. She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. Mm. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay, so... You can check available quests from the map. And okay, this is a representation. This represents the main quest. Completing the main quest will further the story, unlock new features, and grant XP. Okay. Levioso and Akio. Asio? Akio? Alright, let's do the Levi Levioso. So we're gonna attend the dark, dark arts class. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, Focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. All right, so we can't tell the plug. We can't tell her too much anyway. We've got to keep it to ourselves. She seemed like a good person though. But we got to keep it, we got to keep it to ourselves. Revelio. I saw a paper there, yeah. Statue of Gregory the... Okay. What is this? Can you pick this up? This paper, this flying paper. No? Okay. Well, let's head to the class. Attend the defense against the Dark Arts. I'm just sprinting. Let me take this in, man. This shit looks good. Damn. This is a posh ass school, boy. You hear the little violins in the background? Yeah, they're they playing the hell out of that. Alright, let's go. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. She's just bragging a little bit, just a little bit. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso! 
A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Okay, so let's get this Livioso down pat. Oh shit, this shit is quick. Levioso. Okay, we're becoming a wizard yet. Now, let's try something a little larger. Deflected your cast. This yeah. time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent. Ah, now, okay. The basic cast. Well done. So that breaks the barrier. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Protego. Oh, you don't want none of this, mate. You don't want none of this. We were just about to level out. Levioso straight away. I know. Oh, yeah, come get some. Nothing lucky about it. Oh, shit. Stupid boy, Levioso. Let's just say I'm a life. Oh, that's a rat. You took my man off the table. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> oh, is he talking that shit? I put you on the spot and you rose to the challenge. Points to Hufflepuff. Thank you, no, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So. I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Uh, we just beat my man up though. He's looking a bit salty. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. You know how we do, you know how we do. Oh, let me, let me get some more phrases. I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Oh, that's Urkel. Okay. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again. Perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've had my fair share of wand combat. It was, never used the wand in combat. Yeah, let's, let's go with that. We're not gonna tell him that we was, we had to fight those big- In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Those Be big quiet, armor guys. Like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive unsanctioned dueling organization. Oh, sounds intriguing. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. 
Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Oh, he's Perhaps a... somewhere unsanctioned. We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. He's a bad Look group. for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Yeah, he's a troublemaker for Until sure. Until next time. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Okay, what is Rebellion. this? I saw like this chess logo, this chess icon on um on the map, but I guess there's nothing here. All right, we've got the uh, charms class. So we're gonna head there, and knock that out. Oh wow, the paintings are moving! Wow. That's dope. Into a goblet and leave her in the great hall. What the fuck is that? Now here the elves have had to transfigure every goblet in the castle looking for her. I hope you're jolly well proud. Wow. All right, let's go. Let's go. I'm getting sidetracked. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. Okay, we've so got a fellow. you are the new student. We've got a fellow African in the building. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. Oh. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Okay. Well, let's get this skill then. There we go. Akio. Asio. Akio. Oh, Akio. Okay. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. <laughs> Not after you, after me. I wonder where Etsy's from in Africa. Hi. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> So, what better than a bit of sport 
to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Okay, so we got to bring those balls um, close to us. Very simply, cast Akio. Akio on one of the spheres. Akio will push your charm at the... Splendid! Ah, okay. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing them... Excellent control there. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try to get it into the 50. Is that a 50? That looks like a 50. Very good. Ah... Uh... Okay, we got it. Not bad. Very good. Points to Hufflepuff. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. All right, so who's going first? Ladies first. Here we go. She's about to be a pro at this. I know I'm going to get my ass kicked. Look, she got 50 off the rip. All right, let's go. We have to match that. Oh my God, I went too much. Fuck. Don't lose your composure. Oh yeah, she about to she about to kick my ass. There we go. She got a quick hundred. No way! No! 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 Keep trying. Let us keep it. Fuck me, mate. Is there, is there even any point of me trying to do the last that one? That is how it's done. Alright, she, she did kick my ass. I'll give it to her, she kicked my ass. Oh, I can knock her ball off as well, isn't it? Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, she kicked my ass though. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? All right, run it back, run it back, double up. Okay, we've got move on boxes <laughs> I think this time. We are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Hey, enough chatter, focus now, you will need it. This round settles it all. Here we go. No, we gotta win this one. I let her win the first one, so we gotta, we gotta get this one, you know? Can we get a 50? Oh yeah, we got it. Splendid. A one game row. Watch this. Shit, her ball is like in the way of that one there. Let's go now. Another 50? Oh yeah. Nicely done. Why couldn't I have done this on the first go, right? Let us see it. There we go. She's got 90. Uh... Oh yeah, baby. 150. Let's go. A perfect score. Remarkable. Not bad, not bad. Very good, both of you. Well done. Pass is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. We got it on the second one. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. 
I'm holding my own. I'm glad you understand. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. Wagadu? My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were uh, halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. She's from Uganda, okay. Okay, let's see, how big is Wagadu? Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Okay, is magic the same at Wagadu? This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Oh, wow. Surely the magic is weaker. No. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Oh, she's gonna have to teach me how to use, um, do some tricks without the one. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Appreciate you, Natty. Of course. You can use Akio on you. A word, if, you're if you're so inclined. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Okay, so we've got two of our... We've got Accio and we've got Revelio? Revioso? Ravioli? I can't remember the name. Which one is it? Levioso. Levioso. Accio. and Revelio. And Lumos. Lumos. All right. Guys, I'm going to catch you on the next one. That's going to be it for this playthrough. Peace out and one love.